You know, it's really funny. When I was trying to do that scene between Trevor Phillips and Phil Cassidy and uh, Tommy Versetti, it's, it's very hard to do a scene with those three characters where someone's not using the F word repeatedly. And unfortunately, uh, if you want to get monetized on YouTube, you have to try to kind of avoid that word. Now, you know, sometimes bad words do show up in uh, in some of these, especially these GTA ones, because what the, the people on the street curse at you. But, you know, this was one video where I was really hoping that it might actually get seriously monetized. And I thought, well, I better avoid that for this. So you notice I didn't even really clearly say how people were being impaled with, you know, Phil's arm or the, uh, the, the steel rod kind of thing there. But, by the way, there's a, there's a little clip of this in, in the, Just in the video. I put a little note happen. there, uh, for future reference. But there was a guy I used to work with who every time he'd say, hey, Andy, how's it going? He'd be like, yeah. Still taking it with 20 grit sandpaper. And it was just like that. It was just his standard, hey, how you doing? And uh, so I decided to immortalize that a little bit there. That's uh, That whole scene, that whole thing there with, with Gary Busey's character, which I was trying to call it something weird because Gary would say something weird in that situation. You know, Phil Cassidy's a weird guy. That's what the goal is. They're all weird guys. They're all terrible people, really. You know, kids, you shouldn't be emulating any of these men. They're not, they're not what you want to be. When you grow up. I was trying to come up with what was the weirdest thing and how would he respond to a threat like that. And that's the, the sandpaper and with the gasoline thrown in for good. But that was that seemed like it was it was a, an appropriately bizarre way of putting it. But I had to put it in some way where I wouldn't get demonetized. So I, I, hopefully I walked to that line finely enough, you know. It would be a hideously expensive DLC, but it would be fantastic, wouldn't it? I mean, it really would. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description to my last video. Um, I mean, I probably will just go there anyway, but that, that's uh, what was going on with all of that. It's, you know. And yes, the overall video is a reaction to, you know, some of the mainstream guys who are just putting up video after video of, you know, oh, look, we just saw this in a trailer. We just saw this in a picture. Look at the, we can, we can see that. You know, I mean, we can see what's going on. It's not a grand revelation, gang. And uh, yeah, I realize that I, if you were, if you're trying to make your living off of this, you gotta run with whatever you got. And you know, there, there's nothing really, I think, morally wrong with clickbaiting people. Um, certainly, I'm hoping for the same kind of success from my own video, um, which is, but it's still, it's still a bit of a parody here because it's like you, you, you go in the, oh look. They're going to show us something interesting. They have an inside track on things. And now it's just, they're just watching the same same stuff we are. You know, if we want to go look on the, the Rockstar forums, we can get the same hints. And I don't get me wrong. I mean, I still go and, and watch these videos because that means I don't have to do all the research. It's it's useful. But I was trying to think, well, gee, if you're going to you're gonna go crazy with some of this stuff and say, look what we've got! And try to really pump it up to silly, silly extents here. Then you know, hey, why not? Why not really just take it right to the edge? You know, there's no reason not to. Let's, let's hey, let's try and wish our way to Gary Busey, Ray Liotta. That would be the way. Can you imagine? I, mean, I would love to see, even if it was just in like some kind of forum, um, just those three voice acting out a scene together. You know, Steve Ogg and everybody. Not that not that the other characters would you know from GTA Five would go well in the mix too. But those three guys come off as... As a matter of fact, when you're doing the voices, it's hard for not to make them all sound the same. Because they've all got that kind of shouting, gravelly kind of thing going on. And it's like, you know, it, it's it's all from the back of the throat, that kind of, I'm going to rip your throat out kind of sound. And it's, it's you know, all right, so you, you start out with doing Trevor, and then you give it a kind of a southern accent and pull your lips back and slow it down a little bit so you can turn into Gary Busey. And, you know, and then it ended up, I'll be perfectly honest, I think my impression of Leoto was really just me talking. I was really, because he has a flatter voice to it as far as, there was, unless he's really shouting, then you get that gravelliness. And I didn't want, I could have made him shouting, it would have sounded more like everybody else, but I wanted to have some kind of tonal difference there. So that's why I just ended up talking more low and, and trying to just match the kind of things he'd say. But it was a fun effort. I might, I might do 
more of these farcical kind of, you know, out there on the fringe videos in the future. And they're fun to make. And, uh, you know, the, o the only uh, video I've had that's really gone, the, the biggest video, not the only video, but the biggest video I've had was really one of those where I was just being completely farcical and silly. And, uh, and people are, to this day, argue whether or not it's a serious video or not. And that's, uh, I'll put a link to that in the description, too. But I don't even talk on that one. It was a very old video. I put, did it years ago. And it was like, I threw this together just fooling around because I just felt like playing with Gmod. And uh, it actually worked. So it was a, it's a funny thing how that kind of happened. So we'll see what goes on. We'll see if this is, if this takes off. This Not this video, but if, if that video takes off at all. And uh, if this video takes off at all, then hey, well, maybe we'll just do more monologues. I don't know. But we're, we're going to see what goes on. I'm trying to do different stuff. I'm trying to keep things interesting, you know? If every day I just go out and say, hey, look, I'm in pajamas getting killed by people. I don't know. Unless they really keep killing me in interesting ways. Um, the success, when you're successful with these videos, they're not as interesting. So it's, it's a problem. And the real problem is, is that even though I know all that, and I'm going out there kind of hoping something bizarre happens on one side, it's really annoying when it happens on the other. So, so that's, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I had, I had to put a little commentary in here about just that. That's, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I had, I had to put a little commentary in here about just that. So, now, moving forward. Let us actually discuss the gun running DLC a little bit here. What are my true expectations for what we're going to get? And the one thing that I don't think anybody's talked about, I could be wrong, but I don't think anyone's talked about how each each iteration of these DLCs, going from the, you know, the CEO updates to the the, the motorcycle club updates and now I think looking at the stuff here, especially with this update, um, the gun running update, I think is moving more and more and more uh, into cooperative gameplay. I think that's their main focus. They want to create this incredible cooperative experience where you're driving this massive truck and you've got gun turrets and you have a friend at every gun turret and you're blasting the crap out of everything. Makes it extremely difficult if you're playing solo or if you don't have a, a good crew assembled, if you haven't set up your Friday night so that everybody's going to be there. And I've, I've actually played the game that like that. That's how I've, I played Freelancer for a very long time. The, uh, the way I played Freelancer was we had a whole on, crew going and we had game. organized battles. We had, you know, a good, you know, eight to ten people on each side of the battle. And we would do that. I tell you, what, I still have yet to see a, an experience in gameplay like an eight-on-eight -eight system battle in Freelancer. There's just nothing like it. And just the again, oh, yeah, the feel of the that. camaraderie the going in, talking to each other on team speak, organizing what's going Bio on. It's fantastic. So if you can get good there. cooperative gameplay, then you're really, really having some of the best sort of experiences you can have online. And that, that's what your know, Rockstar, I think, is shooting for with this. I think you're going to see a lot of missions that are cooperatively oriented. You're going to need at least three people to do them. You know, at least five people, six people. I don't even know exactly how many they're going to do here. But, I mean, I don't know if they're going to have any sort of niche for the solo gamer. I kind of hope they do. Because otherwise, I'm probably not looking at getting into gun running until I kind of get the band back together. I mean, I'm still friends with all the guys that I used to, you know, and, and gals that I used to uh, play with online. Um, in Pennsylvania, guys is I, for both sexes. So I, but for when you're going on the internet, you have to kind of just say, you know, by the way, and gals, but, you know, in case, because probably in like Texas, it's guys and gals. Here it's just, hey, you guys. So it's that kind of thing. But at any rate, that little side venture there. I don't know exactly how applicable gun running is going to be to me. I mean, yeah, I might be able to get some vehicles. That'll be great. If you need the bunker to get the vehicles, then I don't know. It's going to depend. I mean, I, I'm ex everyone's expecting this to be really expensive. And, if I'm, and what no one's talking about is where are the maintenance fees going to be? Is it going to be $10,000 a day, $20,000, $100,000 a day to have a bunker? Don't forget, it's not just a bunker. You've got an entire research team in there. They could really 
really, really make this expensive if they want to. I mean, this is this is something where I mean, I, I didn't get into the biker businesses because the, the the daily upkeep on them was so high that it almost it almost made it not worth having. And uh, I, I know there's probably some ways around. I think if you just shut down the business, then sometimes you know, once you load it up and shut down the business, then it stops costing you. But I still haven't still haven't stretched into that because again, I'm not. I'm mostly playing solo, and there's a lot of stuff that you just can't do solo. So that's going to be the the issue, I think, with gun running. Do you have a crew? Do you have a bunch of people? Are you good at organizing? You know. The rando calorisians of the uh, the public sessions. I don't know if, if using random people is a good idea, because everyone's gonna have their own agenda. You can lock out, but you're gonna have people dropping out of things, just blowing. You know, hey, yeah, I'll join your team just to screw with you. There's so many griefers out there. Um, it's it's gonna be tricky, and that's another issue. Is there, are they gonna lock it to public sessions? Which all right, you're going to be heavily armed, so you may be able to deal with a guy in a hydra, but it's going to be really difficult to deal with a modder. You know, that's that's um, it's going to be interesting times when you know gun running starts. And again, here's another interesting point. Let's say I say, well, I'm not going to do gun running, but I'm just going to keep doing you know my special cargo or special vehicle runs in in GTA Online. How's that going to work when you've got rolling fortresses rolling through the town? They are practically indestructible, completely, you know, covered in cannons, just blasting the crap out of everything. These things could get really interesting. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to it, just so I can cruise around in the Mirthmobile and see what happens to me. But I mean, there's, it's gonna be, you know, really interesting times uh, once this gun running DLC hits on th on Tuesday. So I mean, we're, I'm looking forward to it and not. Uh, I only have a million dollars. I don't really. I don't think I have enough money really to buy in on anything here, and and you know, that's just a, a problem. And you know, they say this could be very. People like to think, oh, this could be really lucrative. And well, you know, yeah, it could be really lucrative. But look at the special vehicle cargo stuff. The failure rate is you know, the special vehicle or the special cargo and the special vehicle cargo. The failure rate on it is so high that you can't really get consistent money out of it. Um, you could get really big hits and really big losses. So if it's the same kind of thing with gun running, you know, you still might end up being better at making money just grinding contact missions, I mean, which is pretty much how um, I'm doing. You'll find at the end of this video, I, you know, I make like $40,000 just to make up for the 19000 I lost on the one failed effort here. And, you know, it's just there's certain things... If they, if they scale it like they do the special cargo, or if you do take a $2,000 run here, if you just get the basic stuff, the, most, the lowest level risk, then you might be able to pull it off single. Not always, but you might be able to pull it off in, in, without, without help. Then it might work. But if, it's, if this is all going grand scale from the bottom up, it's going to be really hard to solo this, you know? Now, you might be able to get a nice heavily gunned camp out of it for yourself. You know, maybe if you get the doom buggies and the tampas and the motorcycles without getting the bunker, then, you know, life will be good. I'm not sure that you'll be able to, because I think the only place you'll be able to upgrade them is in the bunker. I think that's going to be the trick. So the bunker, whatever, you know, I, I hope, boy, I hope they keep the bunker under $5 million. That's really going to be the thing here. Because, I mean, really, that's the cost of a, of a DLC or a game at that point, if you're shark guarding it. I don't know how long it would take me to get... Too it's going to take me a while to grind through to 5 million or 6 million on it. You're, you're, that's going to be a limiting factor. You're not going to see any gun running stuff out of me um, until I get that. There, depending on how things go, maybe I'll end up getting a shark card of some nature. And, and just to, you know, basically buy the DLC. Which is, this is what they're in here for. The reason they're making the gun running DLC is not because they love you. It's because they want to make money selling the DLC and if you happen to be rich then you don't have to pay for it in, in game money if you will if you have the time to spend grinding out that money you can theoretically get the DLC for free and I think that is an excellent system I you, know, you you do have a path if you don't have the forty dollars I could do it but you might not see any gun running videos out of me till December which that's kind of okay I mean I can probably come up with other things to do that's not a problem but you know 
the uh, that that's the kind of thing that we're playing with here. Is like when are, when when will you be able to use this content? It depends on how you want to play it. Do you want to get a shark card? Do you have the money? You know, you don't want to spend your food money on a shark card. You don't want to send the gas money, the, the rent money. You have to you have to have a budget of disposable income. And you know, hey, this you're gonna spend more money at the bar. You really are. I mean, you're gonna you know if you're going out. You're gonna blow more than forty or fifty bucks or a hundred bucks in some cases if you're going out to the bar. That that's that is the you know this, this is your hobby and this is what you want to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and you're you're paying for the content and there's nothing wrong with paying for the content. They're paying people to make it, so there's nothing really wrong with that. So I don't know I don't know when I'm gonna dip into this. It's gonna depend on the nature of the content, whether or not I can get you know, full use of it, whether or not, you know, if I have to, I'm not at a point right now I have the spare time to just get the team together and say, all right, everybody, it's Friday night. I'm going to be recording and doing this. Everybody just give me about two or three hours. And then this is what I'm doing. I'm not at that point. Back in my thirties. Yeah, that was not a problem. You know, that was uh, that was an easy thing to do. We did it every Friday night and it was fantastic. I miss it. You know, luckily, I, I luckily I'm still in contact with the, the friends I've I made there. It's a, they're, they're such blessings to have these people Old in my life. I actually got to meet a guy who's living in England, and I came to the United States on and vacation. And you know, that's on one of those things. Like, oh, I'm meeting someone that I've only known on the internet. How's this gonna go? Where are they gonna be? Like, are they gonna be as cool in real life as they are on the internet? Is there any? You know, because you think, well, geez, there's this veil of the internet. You know, on the internet, no one knows you're a dog. What's what's, what's gonna happen? And it was wonderful because he was ten times better, even than what I expect. He was just so much fun to be around. I wish he'd just move here. You know, things are not going well in England. If anybody wants to move to Northeast Pennsylvania, you, you know that, that I've hung out with, that would be really great because I'd, I'd love to be able to have lunch with you every day. That'd be, you know, or at least every other Friday or something like that. Um, you know, and it was that was a great experience. And it's, it, his fiance is fantastic. Really wonderful stuff going on there. So I still have the team is there. I'm still talking to you. I'm on the, you know, I'm on the chat all the time with you know Pizesco You've seen in my my videos. He's one of my my longtime gamer buddies. There's there's a whole bunch of them. And if you know if someday I say guys, we're putting the, we put on my Blues Brothers hat and say guys, we're putting the band back together. Let's do some of this stuff. You know maybe that could work. What's well, going to depend on if you anybody even has the game, but um. But so we'll see what goes on there. But I think that's going to be the kind of experience they're trying to build here. And so I, and I don't know that the solo players won't be a little bit frozen out on this one. That Those are my thoughts on, on gun running. We have just a few days to find out what it's really going to be like. I mean, we're, we're going to know. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that there is some some room for the solo player. Some missions you could just get a Tampa and you know drive out of your office or something like that. Make a phone call. Yeah, and make make money to get that bunker. Make money to get that mobile attack center dealio that probably comes with the bunker. So I mean, the bunker, the bunker's coming with a lot. So I don't know what the bunker's gonna cost, but that's that's where my thoughts are on that. And actually, this particular CEO mission is a great example of what I'm talking about. I mean, you would think that I should be able just to shoot down a helicopter and then get whatever crates fall out but then of course they have people running from the helicopter i don't think they parachute down and then one of them has the crate you know, this is really somewhat unnecessarily complicated but it's designed so that you need more people to do it it's just how it is the buzzard's great but it's much easier if you have a gunner if you have someone manning the guns and aiming stuff i, I had a tremendously difficult time aiming the guns at the other helicopter while controlling the helicopter. First of all, you need two hands, basically, to fly it. And, you know, you could, I guess you could... I found out you could hit the, the space bar to fire as opposed to the mouse gun. It took me a little mouse firing button, which that took a little while to figure out. Um, I'm not a helicopter pilot by any stretch of the imagination. And, you know, all right, missiles. What, you know, home, I want regular homing missiles, and none of them want to lock on here. You have to get really close to it. I'm trying to figure out, first of all, is that even the helicopter? Is this it? Because it looks further away on the thing. Look, there's no lock-on going on there whatsoever. And eventually it just, you know, it, it does take 
pity on me and locks on the helicopter. But by that point, I'd almost run out of time in the mission. You'll, you'll see how to go here. Surprised that the, the prison didn't open fire on us. Yeah, I'm looking at it. So I'm trying to come around on this and chase down the helicopter. I'm just firing. Will they lock? How the heck do we get this to go? If you have a person aiming the guns, it's ten times simpler. A thousand times simpler. It's really, you, you need that second person in here to do this mission. And then when, the, when it comes down to there's people on the ground, it's, it's the same thing. You have the gunner take them out. And life is simple. And you're going to see here, it just this just goes completely haywire for the most part. Maybe, maybe we'll do the time. This is just me. Look at this. Circling around. Where is he? Where is he? I can't. I can't see it. It's just... Mommy, I can't get around on this helicopter. No, he's over there. How do you get all the way over there? You know, it's... And the buzzard is a fast, it's one of the most fastest maneuverable helicopters there is. It should be able to take out a Valkyrie, no problem. But it's hard to do, you know, well, for me. You might be like, I take down 16 Valkyries a day. What's your problem? This is the most pathetic gameplay I've ever seen in the... All right, look, I'm speaking to the average gamer. Or even sub-average gamer, such as myself, who might find a problem with this. This is, you know... By the way, once the once the Valkyrie picks up that you're the bad guy, they don't have any kind of trouble hitting you. That's like I think that's soon. Like, oh, there we go. Oh, there's the there's the thing, and it's just and he he's got a turret on that. I think I think he's got side guns shooting it. He's shooting straight up. At that's unfortunate. So now I'm on the ground. I think I think I tried for a while just to run and catch him with the this this is a waste of time. I don't know if the Valkyrie has some kind of anti lock on thing. I should be able to lock on to it from there and that's just not working. I guess it's the homing launcher. What the heck? Why can't I home into this thing and it's it's there? No, we're running around in my flip flops and pajamas and a Foaming missile launcher just going to... I'm back here. Let yeah. me... This was the point where I realized this is probably not going to work. And I just wasted 19k getting special cargo. By accident. Which I really... I just planned, It was in the position of the cheap cargo. And I went to grab the cheap cargo. And I got this. And so this was just completely... You know, Alright, well we're not getting here. Where can I get... I still get a, a helicopter, and it's like, uh, not for another minute. Hooray. Well, let's do the time warp again while I run down the hill and go where I can get a helicopter. Okay, helicopter. Hooray. And again, you gotta have the mindset when you do these missions that you're you're playing the game here at this point. You're not trying to make money and accomplish anything. You're trying to live the life of, in my case, the CEO in pajamas. And so the outcome can't be a really big thing for you because it's gonna end up like this a lot of times as I try to chase this guy forever. And ooh, look, there's a big plane down there. Wow. That's, yeah, that's neat when you can just watch it afterwards when you're not focused on something. Yeah? Blindly shooting into the distance. Come back here, you! The interesting thing here now, it almost looks like... I don't know if this is debris coming from uh, my missiles because I'm blindly shooting them at this Valkyrie. Trying to catch up. But it almost looks like you can see flares coming down. And I don't know if I had to exhaust the flares or what but eventually I start getting a missile lock and I'm not exactly I just had to get close enough see that was like right on yeah, missile missile boom yeah it's just missile debris that was pretty close and then right about here suddenly I start getting a missile lock and then boom one of the thieves is carrying... Now he just blew up the helicopter. When I blew up the... Uh, so now suddenly they're on the ground and they're running around with machine guns and they've got the stuff that I want. And good luck trying to now... I can't find them 
in the helicopter. You can't see them. It's dark. They're wearing black. And so I have to get down on the ground. I got three minutes left here. This isn't going well. And I, it's like, all right, well, I'll try and catch them on foot. Land someplace. It's like, all right, where? Someone shooting at me. Where are they shooting at me from? Do you see them? I don't think I saw them properly. Wasted. Okay, get more machine gun stuff. Try to. And I, I am assuming that you. It's the, always the third guy. I don't know. Maybe that's. Ping, 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 ping. And, where I still don't see him. I'm looking here now and I know where he was and there we go. So I finally see the guy. And he's down. I'm looking, I'm trying to find the second guy. So much fun here. Oh ping ping ping. There you are. It looks like they sent two guys to take you out. Okay, he's dead. Now you gotta get the third guy. And the third guy's just running away. He's not even close. Yeah, I'm a little wounded, so we gotta get ourselves back up here. Yeah, and going to first person doesn't work. You can run a little faster. But, you know, it's, this guy is so far away. Now I'm just like, put the gun away. I'm just trying to get somewhat close. But at this point, there's just no hope. It's just, it's not gonna... It, oh, this was, this was good. I, 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 I leaped off a mountain. Go get Just keep running. No! Please! I just wanted a film reel! I mean, it's a cool mission if you've got... You know, Alright, three guys. Go chase each of them. Or if you've got a guy, in the, again, in the gun seat. This is just wasting ammunition and desperation. And at this point, I'm like, all right, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Heck with it. Heck with it. And I switched over to a uh, a crew a crew only session, so that I wouldn't have to deal with anything. And then I just said, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do what we should have done if we wanted money. That's right. Go to playlists. My playlist, the Lazy Contacts playlist. That's good for 40k, usually. And so that's what I ended up doing. And that way, at least I made back the money I had lost. Um, doing everything else. There you go, 44k I made. It, you know, doing basically blow up, death metal, and blow up three. And that's, you know, they're not hard. It's guaranteed money. If you want money, that's kind of how you have to grind it, I think. If you're solo. I think, you know, you can you can luck out uh, with the special vehicle missions. Uh, and the special cargo missions. And special special missions. And the biker missions. And blah, 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 blah. But you're, if you're really... The only way you're going to get consistent money out of those is if you have a crew going with you. You have buddies. And on that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.